Howdy folks, this is Willis and let's make this better. We're actually going to make this better, better. Uh, I, this is a redo of the water hammer arrestor on the automatic pool fill system. Uh, a YouTube viewer correctly pointed out to me that this use of the galvanized uh, pipe fittings is not legitimate for water supply and he, he's right and uh, that's my, my error. I got excited because I could find an, a galvanized iron side exit elbow, which made this sort of an elegant solution. But uh, I cannot find a side exit elbow in three quarters with uh, threaded um, iron pipe threads, three quarter inch iron pipe threads. I can find side exit PVC in three quarter and one inch with slip fittings, but nothing with thread fittings, and all these guys are threaded. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this. I'm going to use the one inch side exit elbow and put in slip fitting adapters that go from three quarter inch iron pipe thread to slip one inch and uh, put them on all three corners. There is a galvanized iron uh, nipple in there, galvanized steel nipple in there, so I'm going to use a PVC nipple. And uh, then put everything together with glue and uh, Teflon tape. And to do the gluing, we'll use our purple primer, regular PVC cement. And we've got our usual uh, collection of uh, the big crescent wrench and the big water pump pliers to take everything apart. What we'll do now is we're going to build the fitting system here and. Uh, get that ready because it's got to set for 30 minutes before we can uh, actually screw it together and pressurize. Well, before we can pressurize. So let's get this all glued up and we'll get the purple primer ready. We'll get the glue ready. The cap has already been loosened from a previous project. We're gonna get these guys primed. And I'm working over cardboard because the uh, purple primer drips over everything. It's um, basically acetone, I think, with a whole lot of purple pigment that never comes out. So that's all nicely primed. We'll prime the inside of each of these guys. I'm trying to get too much purple primer on the outside. We're going to paint these guys anyways with uh, the deck paint, but still nice to not get too much paint on them. Now we're going to glue up each of these individually. So glue on the outside of the fitting, glue on the inside of the fitting. And try to cram those down as far as they go. And that's, it looks like as far as it goes. Hold that for a couple of seconds and we can go on to the next, next one. Glue on the inside. on the outside. Cram those two together. A little twist. Okay, hold that in place. And glue on the inside. And glue on the outside. This is a, these are messy jobs with these little brushes. So it's nice to have the cardboard. Squeeze them together, a little twist as they go in, spread the glue around, and there we are. So it's going to be bigger and bulkier than the iron fitting that it's replacing, but uh, or the galvanized steel, but uh, it, it's legal. And uh, as the YouTube commenter pointed out, uh, I've got dissimilar metals up here. I've got probably copper going to steel and then brass over here. So that, and then probably this is, uh, I'll bet this is a brass fitting that's been painted. So they're going to have different dielectric potentials um, with uh, any ions in the water and they're gonna corrode. So it's, it's a, a good thing to be corrected and to, to learn not to use these uh, attractive fittings, but uh, you, uh, use them only when they're appropriate. All right, guys, thanks for helping make this better, better. Uh, we'll come back later after the 
adapter has uh, set and uh, we'll screw things together.